Hey everyone, it's Braden here for gshelper.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a scrolling text description in your game. Now I usually see these uh, in, in like store pages, uh, in games, it kind of just tells you what to do uh, on that page. Um, instead of taking up a whole screen to kind of explain, alright you need to do this and you have this amount of coins and you buy items like this. Um, it only takes up a small portion of your screen, uh, like on the bottom or the top. Uh, I've just made an image so it'll just scroll in the middle just for this demo um, to kind of show you what we're going to be making. I already just created the scene here. Um, oh, I guess um, pretty much what this is going to do is just going to scroll this way, and you'll be able to see it on the screen, and it'll uh, finish up and then show back or come back over here and just kind of loop. Um, and that's kind of what we're going to be doing. Um, so I've already created, like I said, a background image in Photoshop and a text uh, text image. And for my text image, I just created this huge document and um, put some text in there, saved it as a PNG. Um, now when you do this, you're going to have to make sure that you know the width of your text image here. I think mine is 1480. Um, and uh, that's important because we need to go to the size here and uh, we need to change the width of the scene to 1480 so it matches my text image All right. and while we're here let's go ahead and check the wrap x boolean alright so now I'm gonna go ahead and place my background image on the scene something like that and then we're gonna go into the text here and um, for this demo, I'm just going to go ahead and change the in the self attributes here, the motion linear velocity x to negative uh, 80, uh, and I just do this so that way I don't have to have a behavior here. Um, I just think it's easier that way. If you wanted, you could put a change attribute and just change self motion linear velocity x to negative 80 or 80. Um, it's up to you but I'm just going to do this for this demo. Alright, so now I'm going to drag the text onto the screen and we just want to make sure that it's centered. Alright, now notice that we it's uh, 1480 so it should just be be right if you place your text off the, off the main screen here, off the camera and uh, it should just fit inside uh, your extra space here on your scene. You want to make sure that you do that because um, if you if your if your text was something like this and you had all this empty space when the text loops this way and you want it to show up over here there's gonna be a huge gap and it's gonna look really weird um, so you wanna make sure that the text is pretty much taking up all of the empty space here but then again you don't want it to be something like that where the text is is off the scene because then it'll show up over here and you don't want that Alright, so that looks about right. Alright, now I'll go ahead and uh, press preview. And you'll see that it just kind of scrolls onto the screen. I guess I should have made this uh, move a little faster, but you kind of get the idea. And it'll just kind of scroll off. Alright, here we go. And then right as this uh, goes off the screen, you'll see that it, it just kind of loops and starts over. Um, so even even though our, our text was taking up most of that empty space, you'll see that there is kind of a, a, a lot of a gap here between the end of the word demo and then um, you have all this space here before it starts over, but that's fine. You get the idea. Um, so this is just a really simple tutorial, guys. I just thought um, I'd make a, a short one today. And um, I hope you guys had a great new year, and uh, we can't wait to show you what we have cooking for 2013.